गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट साइराम वेलकम बैक टू द मैथ्स ऑनलाइन क्लास लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर थ्री प्लेइंग विथ नंबर्स पार्ट फिफ्टीन इन टूडे सेशन वी विल कंटिन्यू टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट सेवन बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दैट लेट्स मेक श्योर दैट यू ऑल हैव अ पेन एंड नोटबुक इन योर हैंड्स सो दैट यू ऑल्सो सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स दोज आर बींग सॉल्व सो लेट्स सी वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम problem number 4 determine the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6 8 and 12 so what we have to do we have to find a number which is divisible by 6 8 and 12 that means it should be a multiple of 6 8 and 12 and also it should be a smallest three digit number for this first we have to find the lcm of 6 8 and 12 let's do that Let's find the LCM of six, eight, and twelve. How do we do that? We write them in a row and start dividing by the least prime number, that is two. Two divides six three times, and eight four times, and twelve six times. So we get three, four, and six. Again, we take two, and three is written as such. Four is divided, and we get two. And two divides six, and we get three here. Again, two is taken, and three is written as such. Two divides itself, we get one, and three is written as such. Then we take the next prime number, that is three. Three divides itself, we get one, and one here, and three. One's a three. So what is the LCM of six, eight, and twelve? It is two into two into two into three. That means it is twenty-four. Now we find the multiples of twenty-four. So what are the multiples of twenty-four? They are twenty-four, forty-eight, seventy-two, ninety-six, one hundred twenty, and so on. But we have to find the smallest three-digit number, which is divisible by six, eight, and twelve exactly. So what is the three uh, smallest three-digit number? It is 120 because before that we have 96 which is a two digit number okay so 120 is the smallest three digit number which is exactly divisible by 6 8 and 12 so what is the next problem problem number 5 determine the greatest three digit number exactly divisible by 8 10 and 12 so again we have to find a number which is divisible by 8 10 and 12 that means it's a multiple of 8 10 and 12 and also it has to be a greatest three digit number for solving this first we find the lcm of 8 10 and 12 so let's do that we find the lcm of 8 10 and 12 we start dividing by the least prime number 2 2 divides 8 we get 4 and it divides 10 and we get 5 and 2 divides 12 and we get 6 Again, uh, we will continue to solve till uh, to divide with two till we have multiples of two. So four uh, can be divided by two. Four and six can be divided by two. So again, we take two. Uh, four uh, is divided by two. We get two here. Five is written as such, and six is divided by two, and we get three here. Still, we have two, and uh, we will take two again and divide two with itself. We get one here. Five is written as such, and three is written as such. Now we take the next prime number three. Three divides itself, we get one. Five is written as such, and here one is written as such. Next we take five, and five divides itself, we get one, one, and one. So what is the LCM of eight, ten, and twelve? It is two into two into two into three into five. Which is equal to 120. Now what we do? We find the mul uh, multiples of 120. So what are the multiples of 120? It is they are 120, 240, 360, 480, 600, 720, 840, 960, 1080, and so on. We can find more. But we have to find here the greatest three-digit number, which is divisible by 6, 8, and 12. but we have to find here the greatest three digit number which is divisible by 8 10 and 
ok. So, uh, the greatest 3 digit number is 960 because beyond that we have 1080 which is a 4 digit number. So, 960 is the greatest 3 digit number which is exactly divisible by 8, 10 and 12. Let us move on to the next problem. Problem number 6. The traffic lights at 3 different road crossings change after every 48 seconds, 72 seconds and 108 seconds respectively. If they change simultaneously at 7 am, at what time they will change simultaneously again? So, what is the problem? We have 3 traffic lights which uh, at the crossings which change after uh, 48 seconds. The first one changes after 48 seconds, then the second one changes after 72 seconds and third one changes after 108 seconds respectively. But if they change simultaneously at 7 am, simultaneously, mean, uh, simultaneously means together, together they are changing at 7 am. So, what will be the next time then they when they will be changing again simultaneously. So, we have to find out that time. So, first we have to find the time period after which the lights at different road crossings will change simultaneously. So, for that we have to find the LCM of 48, 72 and 108. So, let us find the LCM of these 3 numbers. Uh, the numbers 48, 72 and uh, 108 they are written in a row and we start dividing by the smallest prime number that is 2 and uh, 2 divides 48 we get 24, it divides 72 we get 36 and 108 divided by uh, 2 and we get 54. Now again 2 is taken, 2 divides 24 and we get 12 and 36 is divided by 20, uh, 2 and we get 18 and 54 when divided by 2 we get 27. Now again 2 is taken, 2 divides 12 we get 6. 2 divides 9, 18 and we get 9 and 27 is written as such. Again we take 2, 2 divides 6 we get 3 and 9 is written as such and 27 is also written as such. Now we move on to the next prime number 3. 3 divides itself we get 1, 3 divides 9 we get 3, 3 is a 9, 3 we get and 3 divides 27 and we get 9. Again we take 3 and 3 divides itself we get 1. 3 divides 9 we get 3 and here 1. Again we take 3 and 3 divides itself we get 1 and 1 and 1. So, what is the LCM of 48, 72 and 102 uh, sorry 108? It is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 and what do we get? By multiplying these we get 432. So, the time uh, after which they will change simultaneously again is 432 seconds. But we have to change the uh, find the time after 7 am. At 7 am they are changing and after 7 am when they are changing again simultaneously that we have to find out. So, for that first we have to convert 432 seconds into minutes is not it. For that for changing 432 seconds into minutes we uh, divide it by 60 is not it. So, 432 when divided by 60 we have done the division here. So, we get 7 minutes and 12 seconds. Uh, 7 is the quotient that means it is minutes and 12 is the remainder which is seconds. So, the time in minutes is 7 minutes 12 seconds. 12, uh, 7 minutes 12 seconds is the required uh, and what is the required time? We have to find the time after 7 am. So, we will add this time 7 minutes 12 seconds to 7 am and when we add this we uh, find this uh, the time will be 7 am 7 minutes 7 seconds when the 3 lights will change simultaneously again that means together they will change at 7 a uh, 7 uh, am 7 minutes 12 seconds after 7 am so this is the required time now let's move on to the next problem three tankers contain 400 and 
3, 434 uh, liters and 465 liters of diesel respectively. So, find the maximum capacity of a container that can measure the diesel of the 3 containers exact number of times. So, similar problem we have solved earlier. There are 3 tankers which contain 403 liters, 434 liters and 465 liters of diesel respectively. Okay. So, we have to find a maximum capacity container, okay. the container having maximum capacity uh, so that it can measure the diesel of the 3 containers exact number of times. So, here this term maximum ca capacity is very important. Okay. So, for uh, finding the ca um, container of maximum capacity, we have to find the HCF of these 3 uh, capacities of the containers. Okay. So, we have to find the HCF of 403, 434 and 465 liters okay. and uh, this will also be the uh, uh, exact devices of these numbers that means it will uh, uh, measure the diesel exact number of times. Okay. So, let us find the HCF of these 3 numbers. So, how do we find that? We do the prime factorization of these 3 numbers 403 it can be divided by 13 and uh, we get 31 is not it? 13 3s are 39 and uh, thir 13 1s are 13. So, we get 31 and 31 is a prime number it will it will divide itself by uh, 1 time. Okay. So, we get uh, the prime factorization of 403 as 13 into 31. Then we do the prime factorization of 434, we divide by 2, 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2 and 2 4s are uh, 2 7s are 14. So, we get 217 and 217 is divisible by 7. So, we divide it 2 uh, 7 3s are 21 and 7 1s are 7, we get 31 and 31 is a prime number. So, we get uh, we can divide 31 by itself, we get 1. So, what is the prime factorization of 434? It is 2 into 7 into 31. Now, we move on to the next number 465. 465 is divisible by 3. Okay. 3 1s are 3, 3 5s are 15 and 3 5s are 15. Now, 155 is divisible by 5 and we get 13. 5 3s are 15, 5 1s are 5 and sorry 31, 31 is a prime number it is divisible by itself. So, we get the prime factorization of 465 as 3 into 5 into 31. So, what is the common factor for these 3 numbers? It is 31. So, what is the HCF of these 3 numbers? The HCF of these 3 numbers is 31. So, what is the maximum capacity of the container that can measure diesel of the 3 containers exact number of times? It is 31 liters. Now, let us look at the next problem. Find the least number which when divided by 6, 15 and 18 leaves remainder 5 in each case. For solving this problem, first we have to find the number which is exactly divisible by 6, 15 and 18 and for that we find the LCM of 6, 15 and 18. So, let us find the LCM of 6, 15 and 18 first. Okay. We write them in a row and start dividing by the least prime number that is 2, 2 divides 6 we get 3 and 15 is written as such and 2 divides 18 we get 9. Then we move on to the next prime number 3, 3 divides itself we get 1, 3 divides 15 we get 5 and 3 divides 9 we get 3. Again it will be uh, 3 will be divided by uh, itself so we take 3 and uh, 1 is written as such, 5 is written as such and 3 divides itself and we get 1. Next prime number is 5, we take 5 and uh, 5 divides itself and we get 1 here, it should be written 1. It, should, it is written 1 here. Okay. So, 5 divides itself we get 1, 1, 1, 1 we get. Okay. So, there are no multiples of 2, 3 or 5 left or any other number. So, LCM of 6, 15 and 18 are uh, is uh, 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. 
so it is 90 so what is the lcm of 6 15 and 18 it is 90 all right so um, 90 is the least number which when divided by the given numbers will leave, uh, leave remainder 0 in each case but what do we want we want a number which when divided by these three numbers leaves remainder 5 in each case so in that case what we have to do we have to subtract uh, we have to uh, sorry add 5 to these numbers so that the because 90 is exactly divisible so when we add 5 we get 95 and 95 when divided by these numbers it will leave 5 as a remainder in each case so it is 95 the number is 95 okay now next move on to the next problem find the lcm of the following numbers students we take this problem in uh, uh, our coming session till then keep practicing thank you